Hello and welcome to Backlog Conquering. Today's video, it's rain on the PS3. Unfortunately, yesterday's video of rain, it didn't quite work. So part one, if I do put it on the website, it would be unlisted and only on the YouTube channel. So if you see it in the description, it's an unlisted link because essentially the recording stopped working. I don't know when, I don't know why, but unfortunately the recording of the video stopped, but the audio kept recording and I re of course was recording my um <laughs> recording my commentary and I had no idea it had failed. So just a quick little bit before that then. So this is a PS3 game. Came out 2013. I haven't played it. It's looks really nice. And it has an, some interesting mechanics. Doesn't explain everything well. But when it does, it's pretty obvious. So far in part one, we've done the first two chapters. Um, basically, there's a girl in the rain, and we're following her, and we're trying to save her. There's stuff in the rain that's trying to kill us, and there's stuff in the rain that can get out of the rain and also try and kill us. So the game does have a whole lot of stealth mechanics evolving around rain, getting out of the rain, getting dirty, and we explored that in the first two chapters yesterday. Today, uh, we're at the start of chapter three, so let's start and continue. Confirm, yeah. So, again, not sure how long the today's video is going to be, not too sure what the story is going to do at the moment. It doesn't feel like we've had any extra story. We got a lot at the beginning of the game, and we've had a little bit here and there. Nothing that explains the girl. Nothing that explains the creatures. And this is essentially where I left off yesterday. Um, kind of repeating what happened. Um, so my PS3 controller has stick drift because it's moving left and I'm not moving it I have to move it right I let go and it stops so sometimes it moves sometimes it doesn't there we go it moves um, yeah it's an old controller I would like a new one I do not have a new one PS3 model it's a PS3 super slim I have put a 1 terabyte 72,000 RPM hard drive in it so yes, there are low times, but they're probably less than maybe what you remember the game having. I had asked um, for people to write in the comments what they remember about this game. But of course that video hasn't gone up, so um, no comments. But if you do write comments what you thought, what you remember, please try not to spoil the story. Because... Like I said, at the moment, the story has its hooks in me. See, in the rain, we can be seen. And when it's not in the rain, we can't be seen. But you can see footprints, so we can still roughly work out where we are. And you can see um, on the wall there, that's how the story is being told to us. So it is very much that sort of J.J. Abrams style. And because we're dirty, you can see us even when you're not meant to see us. We can get clean again by going into water. I don't want to go too fast or get too far ahead because we're not the only ones in the rain. But the game has been reasonably good about it. Introducing those characters at appropriate times. Uh, just being a little cautious.
the camera is fixed so I can move the right stick and it does nothing for the most part it hasn't been too much of a problem but this is a 720p game so at some points it can be a little difficult to see like for example yesterday we had trouble trying to um, oh boy trying to crouch so that game yeah so basically that's the first nice one and it looks like we can step on its back it's a cool effect going in and out of the water isn't it my guess is we gotta do some platforming now or maybe not see down there it's all top right that's one of the bad ones they will attack if I go down there so I don't want to go down there so there's got to be something else to do that's not to say that's not the wrong option sometimes the game has made us run away from them so that could still be something I have to do but I want to explore a little bit first as you can see, there's not much to explore. I thought we'd need to go on its back, so it looks like a platform. But I guess not. It doesn't seem like it's going to move. <laughs> it's going to be careful with my controller, it really drifts. It's like the super slim. What? Mine's probably nine and a half years old. And this controller I have is probably about eight, maybe. I kind of got it when I got to, came to Japan. Okay, it's back. It's turned. So stealth mechanic rules. See the big beast? No. Yeah, it's a little tricky with my stick grip. Stay in the right place. So you can see, middle right, there's a dry space. So when he goes there, run. Okay. And they got a big puddle, make a noise. Okay. The noise mechanic is not needed. There's no context as for what these creatures are. I've lost myself. There I am. So I am playing this on a sort of I think 44 inch or 42 inch I can't quite remember but TV and it's quite bright on my TV but even then I'm still losing myself in the game world sometimes so there on the bridge that's who we've been following trying to keep safe but they're always one step ahead And the controls are really simple. Square, run, X jump, circle, interact. 
or crouch or something like that. And that looks like the bad guy. Yeah, but now what do I do? Okay, am I meant to run? I am meant to run, okay. So that happens sometimes. It feels like there's some trial and error to this at times. Because like I said at times it doesn't feel like the signposting is amazing. Whereas other times it can feel like super spot on. Like there's no question that this is the right way to go. Like it just showed us essentially what we have to do now. Perfect. But there are times that it doesn't work or there is nothing. But it looks like this game came from a small indie developer. Big vibration on the controller there. So I imagine this is a small team. It's 2013, so that's what the months before the PS4 came out. If if not the same time as the PS4 coming out. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was far too close. Yeah, I've lost, I've lost well, my character is. Could you see why it was? We got a couple of drops by the box, but nothing seemed to do anything. Yeah, this feels like it's not a perfect game by any means. Like, where am I meant to use this? I'm trying to grab it. <laughs> but it's so hard. It does have its charm, and unfortunately, what was not this is what you missed in the first video was the opening sequence, like watercolor. I'm trying to grab it. Damn it! Why would you grab? See that when his back's turned. I assume I'm having to jump up on those things. We're in a big puddle, so it could make some noise. Yeah, so uh, the game does look good in general. Yes, the intro was amazing with the watercolour, but even this 
has a dark, wet look to it. Imagine if this was ray traced and remastered. It would look fantastic. But even still, these god rays, pretty cool. And in the floor, reflections are there. You get lights in them sometimes. It's, um. Yeah, there may be a small game by a small team, but it, it, a lot of work went into this. Don't forget the sound design. A game called Rain has a lot of rain on it. A lot of rain sounds and I wouldn't say it's relaxing, but it works. Not entirely sure what I'm meant to do here. Girl's hiding, so what do I do? So far in the game, it's been a case of trying to find a way to get her to progress without the, without the unknown attacking her. But we're also trying to contact her. Every time we see her in a situation like this, we want to save her. But when we go in here, she is invisible, I'm invisible in, in the dry. Sometimes we just can't see each other. I haven't tried to guess what the story is going to be as yet either. But, oh, oh, the first time. As you see there, the creatures can go in the dry as well. Cooler there. And there doesn't need to be any thing to um, any collectibles or anything like that. The game at the moment seems to just stick to what it needs to do. No fluff, so to speak. I haven't looked at the trophies other than the chapter ones, so I know there's eight chapters. But the other trophies are locked, and on the PS3 you can't view them. Where is it? Yeah, on the PS4 I could probably, um... Oh, do you see that on the left there? I just caught it. So, what do I do? Where is it? I'm wondering if it's looking at where I am. I don't know if you guys saw it through the window, but I did. Oh, oh, oh. we might have just saved ourselves then. It's safe to say I do need to invest in a new controller. That's weird. I do play my PS3 Super Slim. Um, I've got Gran Turismo 6 in there at the moment. 
on disk and I've got probably a hundred or so more on hard drive that terabyte is pretty full but I always forget about the controller the controller is so light and it feels flimsy in comparison to the PS4 controller I've been using So if I look for a new controller, it may not necessarily be um, an official one. Well, that did something. I've got to get up there. How do I get up there? difficult to see which way they're looking and where have I got to go I'm not entirely sure what I gotta do now I doubt we can run past them it's possible that the puddle on the right could make a noise but it does feel like by moving the lift, we've created a dry patch for us to walk through. So that's the hope. Oh, down stick drift. Wait for it to turn. Run. Hey. So sometimes. You just need to put a bit of logic into it. Ah, nuts. Can't seem to catch a break. <laughs> I wasn't even moving, and that was just the stick drift moving. I said it's really bad. I kind of play Gran Turismo using the D-pad most of the time, if I'm honest. But I've been um, playing games for long enough that that's kind of how I used to play games anyway. You know, on the PlayStation 1 with the wipeouts and the Ridge Racers. Before the DualShock 1 came out, you'd do it by D-pad. and So I don't mind doing it by D-pad a little bit. I've also noticed the loading times. The initial load is a little long, but after that, there really hasn't been any. Only when you get to chapter points will there be a loading time. So the game, technologically, is also quite impressive for a PS3 game. Yeah, I'm not saying they all couldn't do it, but. And we've got a new camera angle to play with. Hmm, not too sure. Oh, come on. Where am I? Okay. I was kind of guessing that we might have to go this way, but other than that, I don't... Yeah, I'm kind of thinking we may not actually need to go this way. There's no real jumps of faith, shall we say. 
So if the screen is not moving with me once I go right, I'm pretty sure they're saying I don't go right. <laughs> and the stick drift takes me left. <laughs> so let's just climb down. That could be something we have to do later. Alright, now what? So top left is um, autosave. Watch it, I don't speak the language of the graffiti. Or I don't recognize enough of it. Maybe Spanish? Portuguese, maybe? But I don't really know, I'm afraid, sorry. Oh, flowers. I know that one. <laughs> I can do that one. There you go. Pretty. I said I haven't really tried to think too much about what the overarching story might be. Okay. No, I didn't die that time. But this is the time in the PS3 life cycle where we were getting games like Papa and Yo and games that were starting to deal with like things that happen in family life grieving and telling of things that happened in the in past so I'm wondering if there's some sort of meaning behind this me oh oh look at the roof of the locker there's only one that can be used there we go problem solved and she's getting into a locker her side maybe So it was going to check that locker anyway. It should open mine, but I have a roof. So you can't see me. close the doors. It could be that there's a trophy for it but yeah I'm not one of these people that goes after platinum trophies. In the Glaylancer series for Backlog Conquering I did go for it but that was mostly because it was really really simple. It was all about score. So it took an extra 20 minutes maybe. I think I just have to stay here. Oop. <laughs> Try and fight against the stick drift. <laughs> Where's it gonna go? Okay. Oh, 
Well, convenient. For some reason, the moon seems to be where, the direction we're going in. And that's always kind of been the signal to the end of a chapter. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do two chapters a night. Um, yesterday, it just kind of worked out that way. Yeah, and you get a uh, treasure for each chapter. Nor... Can I say if this video is going to be an hour long or not? It'll just I'll just go until maybe until I've had enough, I suppose. The thing with the last video, um, the last series, I should say, "Deliver Us the Moon," that I got really hooked into the story. So um, that's one reason why it was so easy for me to keep playing. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, I didn't realize that was playable. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so Glay Lancer was quite, was more often short. And Deliver Us the Moon, the second one, was quite long. In terms of what I played, I mean. This one, not too sure yet. Oh. Oh. That was so lucky. <laughs> Running towards the carol sequence, all oh, they're not they're rarely any good. We've done something similar for her, I'm sure we did in the first video. If you can't see that, it's like furniture has been thrown off somewhere. Okay. I think we can go in the shadow now. that later. There we go, yeah. Oh, no, climb, climb.
a little sad. I wonder if the game's going to change a little bit to sort of like um, mention this in the video that got interrupted, um, corrupted. I mean that, like in Eco, you do have these periods of the game where you're leading the character. Then you make the character follow you. And whilst we're not strictly holding hands in that, like we were in that game, I do get a little bit of eco about this. Ah. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure this game doesn't have a platinum. I don't mean that because of, you know, it's a downloaded game. I mean, I, if you look at the list, it doesn't look like it has a platinum. Story-wise, there's been no hint about any of this. And this is the longest time we've gone without coming across any of the sort of monsters in the game. me knocking the chairs over. I don't know what we're meant to do here. Oh. When we have the key, we can be seen. Well, let's just pop that down, just double check this final locker. Okay, there's nothing in there. So we need to use this key somewhere. Look for a door. Here it is. Expected them to appear at some point. Okay, so hide triggers them. 
Huh. So, staying in the dry isn't the answer. We've got to go back to those lockers, haven't we? I guess. That's a hell. Doesn't feel right. The tension the game runs on it would have been a bit more of a chase sequence if we had to go that far back. There's something I'm missing. I'm in the cover, so it looks like the power is floating. And the girls have gone past. Some sort of teamwork then, obviously. I oh, thought that light might have been like a spotlight or something, but no, it's just a hint of what to do. It was a little too not subtle. <laughs> I thought it was something else. not having to worry about the beasties in the game. Being distracted, girl. Point to stop moving. Wow, that moved so far. Well, I guess it had to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we've 
gonna move this. The city does feel quite expansive. Well, we're saving. Is there going to be more action? Oh, a new creature. So that's something we haven't seen before. I'm guessing bad. Something small like that, maybe attack you when you walk past them. Oh, okay, you see that? No. Nuts. Can I get back up there? Doesn't seem like I can do anything here. She's with me. Oh, bridge. Oh, that's a reflection. <laughs> There's a problem sometimes. Oh, no, no. Sometimes the reflections don't look. Actually, that's the girl. They look like they're floating above the ground surface. We go top right. Oh no, go ahead. The girl's got the idea. Hey, thank you, little buddy. Some of these creatures have died. Oh, girl, you should be in front. You're meant to be showing me where to go. Maybe we've got to jump on the car? No, and I'm not too sure what to do. Okay, <laughs> go this way. critters in the way. No, 
Oh, well. Okay. One there. So I'm just gonna go up here that we can use. Oh no. Oh, that's me. I thought oh, I was already. I thought I was the first one up there. Yes. They're distracted so I can use that exit. <laughs> Close. Nah. Where am I? I've got to pick up that doll. That's why I kind of missed out on. Okay, I see where we are. I am pausing it there. So, what do you guys think so far with Rain? I'd like a little more story. I think that's kind of what's not really engaging me about it. Glay Lancer had so much story at the beginning that it, there was that hook and they doled out a couple of bits as it went on. Deliver Us the Moon is just all story. And it's quite cool how they do that. But this one, I feel like it just needs something extra. The mystery about the girl and the boy and the rain. It doesn't feel... I mean, yes, it is a mystery, but it doesn't feel like a mystery that's worth solving so to speak it feels more like a gameplay style a gameplay mechanic rather than a story one well you know you're watching what do you think and uh that's it that'll do for today so until next week's um backlog conquering part three which will be wednesday or maybe you will be on the site i mean Yesterday I did put up a YouTube short instead of part one because I was kind of working on it just to give it a go and uh, feel free to give it a look. It's something different. But until I do see you next time, take care.